Hi, this is Tom with Compix, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Excel to find the table numbers for your URLs used in AutoCast and NewScroll. Inside NewScroll, we have something called the data box. If I go to data box settings, you'll see that there's a URL and a table number that it's pulling from. There's also something very similar in our program called AutoCast. If I click a file and click watch, I can select URL and you can see that there is a URL path and a table number for this program as well. Now moving on, I'll go to my Excel spreadsheet. And if I go to data and from web, I should be able to pull up a website with no problem. And I'm just going to go to weather.gov. and I'll type in my zip code and you'll see that a spreadsheet comes up with these various arrows these arrows actually indicate what you can pull data wise that is keep in mind that you can only pull data not images if I click an arrow it will check mark it I can then save this section to a quarry right to my desktop which I will do right now I'm going to name it Weather Test. And once I save it, I should be able to go to my desktop and pull up this quarry in a notepad format. And you'll notice it says Section 12 here. This is the table number in which we will pull data from. So now I'll go to New Scroll. and I'll go to my data box settings I'll have my URL in place and I'll be pulling from table number 12 when I select load it will load the data that was located in the table number and I can now apply that data to my template the data will update as the website updates and now all I need to do is check mark my data box and press the on button and we'll be up and running and that's how you use Excel to find your table number. For questions, please email us at support at compix.tv or feel free to visit our website, compix.tv. If you have sales inquiries, please give us a call at 949-585-0055. Thanks.